Now, my sort of last question as well is, um, well, two last questions, but I'll start with the first one. What do you believe the Alberta government needs to do to curb the debt that is increasing over time right now and get back to a surplus that Ralph Klein brought in? Well, <laughs> we have no operating debt. Our operating budget is balanced. So all the salaries and all the benefits and, and everything that we operate, we're balanced. We are now, um, if you wish, incurring debt on paper uh, in infrastructure. But we have a choice. Either we do that and we address those pressure issues that I was talking about and we allow ourselves to grow, or we don't. We pay for everything cash up front. But then don't expect any additions to the hospital and schools and then the list goes on and on in a short term. Uh, because you will not have enough money in the mattress to pay for all that uh, cash up front. And frankly, any financial advisor uh, would advise you to, to amortize the cost of infrastructure over a number of years. And, you know, and, and some will argue that we're passing a debt onto the next generation. No, we're actually building this infrastructure for the next generation. We're building it for kids, not only of today, but for kids of the next 50 to 100 years. Uh, we're growing a province. Uh, this province will not retire in 40 years and have to rely on its savings to live for the rest of its life. This province will continue to grow and prosper. But for that to happen, you have to continuously invest in infrastructure. So amortizing the cost of infrastructure over a period of time, as long as, as, as your servicing of that amortization is built into a balanced operating budget, is the smart thing to do. It's the only thing to do if you want to grow this province. So I will never be apologetic, uh, apologetic for investing in infrastructure, not just wants, but needs. Uh, because if we don't, this economy will grind to a halt. You know, it's, you have to be really deprived of a vision and, and long-term understanding and, and, uh, and aspirations for this province to be so narrow-minded and say, no, cash up front, if I don't have the money, I'm not building it. You're not just building this province for yourself for today so you can run around and say, but look at my savings account. How good is that savings account 30 years from now when, when people are moving out of this province, when the economy slows down, when you don't have the quality of life, when you don't have the hospitals, when your roads are full of potholes? Will you still then be proud of what you have achieved? No, this province has been built on the fact that our predecessors had the vision of building what they built for us today, and we owe it to the next generation to build them a province that they will want to live in uh, tomorrow. So, you know, again, there is a political party for those people uh, who like to think only in a narrow sense of today and, and be deprived of, of aspirational vision of this province and actually wanting to build this province. Um, you know, that is something I will never be apologetic for.